So I'm here in Portugal for my birthday and you can see it is beautiful here. Like we are right by the beach. We're literally, there's people playing football over there. We're literally a few seconds from the beach. And yeah, man, this, is a, this has been a really interesting birthday for me because um, like some of you may know, this was a pretty tough year. Um, and so it's just got me thinking about sort of one thing, right? I'm always trying to think, okay, when is your birthday? reflect on one thing. And we were having a really beautiful conversation yesterday in the evening about this one thing, which is friendships, basically. I don't know what it is about turning 30, but I just feel like you just, you just rethink a lot of friendships, right? You rethink a lot of relationships because in this next chapter of life, you're just thinking, who are the people I want to be really like around me as in close proximity? And it got me thinking, I think the last 30 years, um, have been a lot of like, I'll just take anything I'm given, right? Just, you know, whoever is around, you know, we, we have fun, we have a good time, easy going guy, let's have fun, that sort of thing. And I think, I don't know, as you get older, I'm just reflecting on this idea that actually, I kind of want to leave the bare minimum thing to the side. And instead it would be nice to set a bit of a higher standard for people like I do close community with. Um, there's obviously nothing wrong with just generally being kind and spending time with everybody. But when it comes to close friendships, the friends that you want to spend a weekend with, you want to do life together with you, you kind of want people who will show up, who will be there, and who will just like really do life with you. Um, one of the biggest mistakes I think we make, and I've definitely made, is thinking friendships are about like deep chats and dinner and stuff like that. And they're not, it's about doing life. It's about showing up. There's this, there's this beautiful scripture in the Bible that says, a friend is for adversity and I love it because it makes the point very simply that you know, you know anyone can hang out around you when things are going well right when you just got a new job or you just landed a new TV show or you know or like you just raised some money for your bit like that's such a it's so easy to say well done Mike that's easy well done Mike is the easiest thing to say it's probably why I hear the most from people what's hard to do is to sit down with somebody when they're weeping and you literally have no words, but you're just there to show up when it's super inconvenient, but you're like, I'm gonna be there. Like, I, whatever it takes, I'll be there. Um, I'm gonna cancel this, I'm gonna cancel that because I, I need to be around you. Like that for me is the height of friendship and not like nice words and it's, it's easy. I'll be real, some people be using ChatGPT to write nice words. I'm sorry, keep your nice words, right? Anyways, that's what I'm thinking in this season. And it's my one thought as I move forward. I wanna be a much better friend much better because i'll be real there's some people that probably i fit this description right um and i and i want to set higher standards for the people that are around me so looking forward to the next 30 years it's gonna be amazing signing out